Hello everyone! Today for all I'm doing a very highly requested video. I have not gotten so many comments to do a video in a very long time and so I knew that I needed to film this and this is the blush tag. When I posted my Perfect Palette 2 tag, uh, so many of you commented saying that you wanted to see this one and so uh, I went in and I have all of the questions here on my iPad along with my answers and so we are going to go through and do this. I'm very excited because I do really love blush but um, when I saw all of your guys' amazing feedback from the Perfect Palette 2 tag, which by the way, definitely go watch that. I love that one as well. Um, I thought that this would be a great one to do, so let's get right on into it. The first question is uh, the best packaging, and for that I chose the uh, these ones from the Balm, and these are called their In Stain Blushes. First off, these blushes are amazing. I mean, they are such a fantastic formulation, but I freaking adore this packaging. I have a few of these. These are just a couple that I have. This one here is called Argyle, and this one is called Toile. I think that these are so cute because they're made to kind of look like old magazine covers. And so you have the little lady there, and then each of them kind of have a season that they represent. So this one says fall, and this one says spring, almost like fall and spring editions of a magazine. I also think that these are nice, too, from a practical standpoint point because they are just kind of like a solid cardboard uh, that has a very, very nice magnetic closure that feels very heavy and very durable. You have a nice little mirror on the inside along with your blush and this blush particularly comes with a very, very large pan size. So these are blushes that will last you a very, very long time. These are just beautiful and I would highly recommend them and they win for my best packaging. The next question is a prettiest color and for that I chose Milani's Luminoso. Super funny because my friend Alex or uh, the beauty addict here on YouTube. She also just did the blush shake and she mentioned this one as her prettiest color and I actually answered these questions a few days before she posted her video so it's kind of surprising that we both picked the uh, same one but I mean it goes to show how pretty this color actually is. This is a gorgeous um, kind of like corally orangey just oh it's so freaking pretty. It is definitely like a coral peach but it has just a little bit of like a um you know, kind of orangey, warm undertone to it. I love this blush particularly in the summer because I think it plays really nicely off of a tan. And it's also one of those blushes that doesn't have a whole lot of like noticeable chunky shimmer or glitter. It just has like the most gorgeous sheen to it. Uh, very long wearing and pigmented and overall just a great blush, especially considering that it's from the drugstore. The next question is most pigmented. And for that, I chose this one from Amazing Cosmetics and this is their Pink Chocolate Blush. It is a matte color but technically I think there's a little bit of sheen to this. These blushes are like hella pigment. I don't know, like that was seriously just one little swipe around. I hope that this is going to pick up well for you guys because these are like insane on the pigmentation. Like hello. This already is kind of like a darker plummy color. By the way, I absolutely adore this shade. But uh, these blushes are just so nice if you really want that blush where a little bit goes a long way. Maybe you're somebody who, you know, only buys like a couple of blushes here and there and you really don't want to feel like you have to scrape out your pan because I've definitely had blushes like that in the past where I just feel like I can't get any payoff from them. These definitely you will not have that issue and you know you can blend them out so that they can be kind of nicer and more natural so they work really well. I would just recommend using them with more of a fluffy brush or a lighter hand um, but I also like blushes like this because for people who have darker skin tones I know that it can be a real challenge to get some colors to show up on you and I feel like no matter what these blushes will just because they are so saturated. The next question is everyday blush. This was a very hard category for me to pick because I I have a couple of different blushes that I really do rotate day to day and just ones that I feel like are sort of fail safes for me. Um, and this one was a real contender for another spot, question number eight, which I will get to. But I decided to put this in this one just because I haven't had this one as long as I've had the other one. And I feel like, especially for this particular category, it just really works well. And this is Everyday Blush, and this here is Bobbi Brown's Nectar. I freaking adore this color. It is so so pretty and I went through a phase where after I bought this I seriously think for a month or two this is like literally all that I wore because I could not just get over how pretty this makes my cheeks look I mean this is like a blush that seriously if you were to take my entire collection and be like you can only you know keep like two or three of these, this would be one that I would keep. Uh, it is a gorgeous mid-tone pink shade that possibly has a little bit of peach running through it and I think that that's why I really like it because you know everybody really adores those pinky peach colors but this one to me for some reason is just 
so much it's just different and just so much more beautiful and it just like if you think of that typical glowing pretty pink cheek this is what that gives you and I'm somebody who surprisingly I don't really love a whole lot of pink toned blushes so for me to like look at this and be like yes this is an everyday blush and this is something that I love is kind of really saying something it also is super long wearing and very very pigmented and uh, this is sadly the only blush that I own from Bobbi Brown but because I love this one so much I'm definitely tempted to go pick up some other ones next moving on question number five party blush and for that I picked benefits Bella Bomba blush I don't really know if this has been discontinued or not because I feel like I'm not really seeing it around a whole lot but I feel like Benefit will every once in a while release it in a set or you know around the holidays they seem to put this one out. For me the reason I think Party Blush when I see this is because it is a very like intense shocking watermelon pink color that has a bunch of different like glitter shimmery pretty bits sort of running through it. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand so you can see it a little bit better. There is the swatch of it there. Um, I don't know if my lighting in here is going to completely pick up on all of it but looking at it in real life there is a heck of a lot of a shimmer and glow and glitter and all that good stuff happening in here I kind of I had a hard time with this category because when I think party blush it's like you know usually if I'm going to a party I'm not gonna have my blush stand out I want my eyes or my lips or something like that to stand out but when I think of party and I think of glitter and sparkle and fancy and all glam and you know sort of like really girly this is what comes to mind um, a really really beautiful color the formulation is a little bit chunky like it's kind of crumbly and I think that's because there is so much of that like really holographic glitteriness going on to it but um, it does translate really pretty on the cheeks as sort of a statement as a pop however if you do not like glittery or shimmery blushes you will not find this appealing at all question number six is regret purchasing this is a hard one for me because if you guys have watched some of my declutters I went through and got rid of a lot of that stuff so I don't have anything around anymore that I feel like I truly regret but if there's one that I just kind of feel like was overhyped something that I sort of gave into and really wasn't super impressed with it would probably be this one and this is NYX's bourgeois pig yeah like that is I mean that's seriously the name of it it's got the most ridiculous, awful name in the history of cosmetics, but everybody went through a phase with this um, two or three years ago here on YouTube, and so I totally gave into it. It's not like it was a super expensive product, so in that sense, I guess I don't really regret purchasing it. I don't look at it every day and be like, ugh, but it is one that I just like, I just can't ever get into, and I think I kept it for this, uh, during this last declutter because I thought that maybe eventually I would get into this. This is a much more brighter, intense, more hot pink than what Bobbi Brown's Nectar is. And unlike Bobbi Brown's Nectar, this just doesn't have a whole lot of that soft, pretty, glowy peachiness kind of running through it. Um, even though Bobbi Brown's is matte, there's something about that formulation that when you put it on, it just looks so youthful. And I swear to gosh, like, especially on clients that I've used it on, it takes like 10 or 5 years off your face. It's insane. This one, to me, like, adds age because this is such like that 80s intense like hot pink color I just don't think that it's very flattering at all and I just have a really really hard time with this blush I put it on and I feel like it makes me look like I'm flushed in the worst kind of way like I'm just like hot or something like that which isn't really a good look and then if I at all through the day naturally blush it just makes me look like crazy demon because I have so much redness looking in my face so I'm not a big fan of this I've tried uh, rocking it many different ways I just have a really hard time with it but um, I might try giving it a couple of uh, different goes with you know trying to mix it maybe with other colors honestly I don't really know now why I'm talking about it why I um, even kept it during my last declutter but we'll see uh, it's just one that I wouldn't say that everybody needs to go get and if you have the money I would much more rather you guys invest in the Bobbi Brown color than this one. The next question is least used. I would say that that sadly goes to my cargo blush in the shade Catalina. This is a um, I know I feel like I've been showing a lot of like pinky toned blushes and that's funny because I'm not a huge pink tone blush person. I much more prefer plums and like soft corals and like peachy shades. Um, but that's probably why this one is the least used because it is like a true bubblegum pink. It's a very, very light pink color, super pigmented and a really, really amazing formulation on this. These are like so smooth and buttery and just creamy. Um, and it does sort of translate because it kind of warms up on your skin and it slightly kind of changes a different color but there it is right there it's just such a light 
blue toned bubblegum pink then on my what I like to describe as more like yellow toned warmer skin I just don't really feel like this is the most complimenting shade <laughs> of blush it just looks very blushy nothing about it looks you know pretty or natural or you know even with my makeup and blush I don't always go for that natural look because not naturally do I have plum or like coral toned cheeks but this is just so bold and just so kind of garish on my face because of the different tones in it that it is definitely my least used but I do keep it around because I like using it sometimes on other people and I do really enjoy the formulation of this and it's something that every once in a while if I am wearing the right look and if I happen to be you know a particular shade of white uh, it it can look okay, but um, definitely rolling into summer, this is not one that I will reach for a whole lot. Moving on to question number eight, which I think is probably the most helpful and kind of most interesting question within this tag. This is most used, would never let go of. Like I said, this was such a like a hard tie for me between this and Bobbi Brown's Nectar, but I ended up choosing this just because I feel like I've had this color for a longer amount of time and it's something that I just am so die hard for and I absolutely adore this color. This is Tarte's Exposed. Uh, I know everybody absolutely adores the shade but I just feel like this is the blush that you know sometimes with Bobbi Brown's Nectar if I'm trying to go for a really smoky sultry eye that has a lot of pink and a lot of peach and you know it's sort of more brightening and more youthful so that's not always the look I want to go for and no matter what kind of a look I'm trying to go for I just feel like this one works and I particularly enjoy this blush with like I said smoky eyes or like red lips um, where you have a different feature that you're trying to play off of and you just need your blush to be super subdued and and I kind of find that it's hard to find blush shades like that just because so many brands really put out those really intense poppy like you know look at me I'm blushing sort of colors which are super pretty but if you wear you know a crap ton of makeup and you get super glammed up sometimes you just want your cheeks to be a little bit under the radar. Uh, Exposed is a beautiful rosy tan color that is how I would describe it. Tarte's formulation is absolutely incredible and I will touch on that here again soon because that is going to be a different question but you can just see in comparison to all all the other colors that I've swatched this is just so muted uh, because it has a little bit of that like tan sort of in it I just feel like it um I don't know it just doesn't really take a lot away from anything else you can kind of see it right there I mean, even on my uh, skin here, you can see it's just very subtle, but it definitely helps to pull a look together because I am somebody that can't go without wearing blush. I love just wearing a little bit of something to kind of put that life back into my skin, and I feel like this does that without being like obviously noticeable. So this is definitely um, my I would never get rid of blush. I freaking adore this blush. And then the next question is favorite blush brand. This is so hard because I, again, think that there are so many amazing blushes out there. Uh, but as for as what I have tried the most of and what I would recommend from that bunch, I would have to, again, go with Tarte or those balm blushes that I showed you guys earlier. I feel like they're both very similar formulations in the sense that they are pigmented and long-wearing. I would say that the balm blushes are even more pigmented than the Tarte ones. The Tarte ones, I think, um, while they're pigmented, they aren't ever something that you have to worry really too much about getting out of hand with. I even find with some of the lighter shades, it's one of those where I do feel like I have to go back and forth a little bit more. With the balm ones, I never have to do that. But on the other hand, um, with some of the balm ones, they can kind of get a little bit too intense if I'm not careful. So I absolutely adore both of them, especially for me because I think longevity is such a big problem that I have with blush. I really want my blush to be long wearing. I want to still feel like I see that color at the end of the day. And definitely both of the Tarte and the Balm uh, blushes give me that. I also think that the color selection in both brands is amazing. They have some more fun shades, but then they have a lot more subdued shades. And overall, I enjoy them both and would totally recommend them to all of you guys. Next question is greatest discovery of last year. And uh, no surprise here, I mentioned this in my 2015 favorites. These are the Makeup Forever HD blushes. This particular shade is in the shade number 220. This is very similar. It's like almost like the cream version of Tarte's Exposed. If I was to kind of compare that, you can see that these are really, really quite similar. Um, I love, love, love these cream blushes. They are the only cream blushes that I will wear now. I feel like I've become sort of a cream blush snob because of these. Uh, these 
these are just so beautiful and silky that they don't really pull or drag or do anything to mess up your foundation. You can also wear these uh, on top of powder and they don't become like that weird consistency or begin to look like chalky and dry and weird on your skin because you decided to lay a powder down and then a cream. So I like that you kind of get that versatile option with these. I just think that these are absolutely amazing. I mean, until you have tried these, it's so hard to describe the texture and the wonderful silkiness and creaminess, but at the same time, the um, longevity and just sort of the, I don't know, the overall experience with these is just really, really fantastic. Okay, we are starting to near the end of this very, very long tag video. The next question is uh, most practical, and for that, I chose the Paula's Choice Blush It On Contour Palette. The reason that I think that this is the most practical is, I think, obvious reasons. You have four blush shades here that you can intermix, sort of uh, play with a little bit, uh, sort of customize different shades, but you also have some very distinct colors. You have a very distinct plum, a rose, a pink, and a peach. So you kind of have everything that you need. And then on the other side here, you have a beautiful bronzing contour shade and then a really, really pretty highlight. For me, this is just the perfect palette to take on the go. I absolutely adore this. Um, kind of just good slimline basic packaging too, so if you are traveling with this, it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. And when I just think of practicality, this completely comes to mind because it's one of those two that for the everyday woman, you could own this and not really have to own anything else. So I think that that's great. Next is least practical. This is kind of hard because again, I, I mean, I'm not gonna keep unpractical things really in my collection, but if I have to think one that just from the terms of when the company designed this, I'm not exactly too sure what they would go, what they were exactly going for. This is uh, Estee Lauder's Ombre Blush. Now they have this one here, which is in Peach Nuance. They also have a plum one, which I think is Plum Nuance. Um, Estee Lauder and MAC are kind of owned by the same company, and MAC also has kind of different versions of this that they release. I have touted this before as a very unique product in my collection. Totally, I 100% still stand by that. It's very unique. But the practicality of it, I don't think is always there just because with this, um, Estee Lauder blushes are pigmented, but they are, they remind me a lot of like the Tarte blushes. Uh, you can't really go too overboard with them. Every once in a while, if you get into the really light shades, you might find that you have to use a denser brush or even more of a heavy hand. And that can be really nice at times. But when you mix that sort of a formulation in with a very light, I mean this like, you know, light, peachy, whatever thing isn't anything. You can see here, it's like straight up yellow powder. So when you actually put it on, I mean, I just put it on right there. You can't even see it. It disappears into absolutely nothing. It almost like dilutes your blush down even more. So I just find that um, with this blush, I just work so hard at only staying on this side of it because I don't really care to get any of this like yellowiness into it because all that does is it seems to, you know, like I said, sort of lessen my pigmentation and and it makes life harder on me. But you know, that kind of sucks to have to like really work on one side of the blush and not feel like you can just sweep it all in. It kind of creates a little bit more work for myself. However, this color is super, super pretty. When you just take this kind of peachy color and you can get that on your cheeks, this is an absolutely gorgeous blush shade. I just don't really feel like the whole ombre thing other than for aesthetic reasons is uh, very necessary. But it is still kind of a cool concept and I'm happy that I have it because it is a pretty shade. Um, you know but if we're thinking of practicality reasons, that would probably be one of my least practical ones. And then the next question is most expensive. I don't know if we can count like highlighters technically into this, which I know we shouldn't because it's a blush tag, but I do have a couple of the Becca uh, Shimmery Skin pressed powders, and I would say that those are definitely my most expensive, like cheek products in general, just because those are, I think, like $40 a pop. Um, but if we are thinking of just blushes, probably this Estee Lauder one, I think that this one too is almost close to $40, um, and those are my most expensive ones. And then least expensive, I'd have to probably wrap it back to that NYX blush in the bourgeois pig shade uh, those you can find on sale all the time you can get them at just like CVS and I think that they are four dollars maybe and because they are a drugstore you can always get coupons and all that good stuff on top of them too so that is probably my least expensive blush and that is it oh my gosh this was such a long long video uh, going through and trying to explain everything you know right to you guys and this took me also a lot of time to put together I had a really hard time trying to think of you know the different blushes to fit within this category because I have such a 
large collection and you know especially with those darn questions like your most used and stuff you'd never get rid of I have a hard time with that in general but this was a very very fun video to do and I hope that this gave you guys some different suggestions and let you know a little bit more into my blush life and collection uh, but that is it I hope that you guys enjoyed this again and I will talk to you all next time bye bye